Incan cosmology states that when the forces of the north meet the spirituality of the south, then there will be a great awakening. A powerful global change for the betterment of humanity, the hummingbird of joy will emerge. We're at a site called Kenko today, and there's gonna be a lot of hiking. I don't know if you can see behind me there, but the next part that I'm going up to, I ha have to hike down a mountain and back up. So I'm at the top of this mountain, and the, the formations are part of the mountain. It's not something that was added here, it's carved out of it. And when you look at the old megalithic structure, like Saxwak, Human, um, it looks like the stone was grown there. <laughs> it's kind of neat. It doesn't look like it was placed there. Like modern stonework, you can tell it was placed, stacked, there's mortar in between. Even the work that Inca did, you can tell that it was placed. But these megalithic stones appear as though they almost grew out of the earth. I want to say that again. They grew out of the earth. That feels right. And when you touch them, uh, it's immensely grounding and that whole complex over there that was a a monument a shrine a um, sacred space for Pachamama uh, for Mama Earth so Lima was interesting but this place is incredible absolutely worth coming to um, and I should do a, an, an episode around uh, 10 things you should buy and one of those things is a ticket to Cusco so you can come and see What is possible for humanity? What what we did at one time and have somehow forgotten that we're in now was a funer funeral procession and this particular stone that I'm standing beside that's polished was used for mummification it's interesting all the portals and carvings through here Walk in now to the Temple of the Moon. Go 
myself an ice cream cone. One sole, it's like 33 cents. So I might've got two. <laughs> In the middle of pasture here, a lot of horses. Um, outside of the edge of Cusco now. Beautiful land. Spring is coming, so everything's starting to green up now. We're at the Temple of the Moon behind me. You can see that cave over there that I'd love to get into, but it looks like it's all closed off. Um, this is Huaca sacred space. So again, oh, again, we have the ancient stone, the almost like they melted <laughs> the stone and turned it into a monument. And then over time it was repurposed, reused and built up on by Inca. And they say the Inca was here 500 years ago. The Inca really ended in the Valley of Death um, when the Spanish came in. Um, but people here are really still attached to the Inca culture. Through Peru, uh, some people identify themselves as being Peruvian, but here in Cusco, uh, people will say, I'm Cuscoan. Uh, <laughs> so they identify more with Cusco than Peruvian. Um, I thought was interesting, but I understand it because of the depth of the culture here. It's kind of neat. Another very neat place. Temple of the Moon behind me here. And there's a beautiful cave back there. It just wants me to go in. So this place is open 24 hours. So you can come up here and um, enjoy sunsets, enjoy the full moon. And if I'm still here, I will do that next time there's a full moon. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see what's on the other side of me here. There's some weird stonework back there I can't, can't get close to to see pictures of, but there's these huge pillars, uh, monolithic stone, look like they're melted together. It's really strange.
So the space I'm in is unquestionably sacred space and there's a lot of depth here. So you can see some of the offerings behind me and tucked into the stones. Other places where I found this would be sacred space in Hawaii, where people would go in and make their offerings, tucking them into the stone. <laughs> it's interesting, in, in this tradition, coca leaf and beer is what they like to give to the spirits. In Hawaii, they like to give tobacco. Um, and there's a lot of fruit that's been thrown down in that cave down there. So flowers, coca leaves, and fruit is what I'm seeing uh, left in this spot. I'm gonna sit in this little tunnel. I'm gonna sit in this little cave over here and see what I feel in that space. So I'm curious how we got from being able to melt stone and make it flow to what you see beside me here today. How did we get from the ability to create in harmony with nature to this? How did we get from the beautiful, balanced um, potential that we see here to what we have now? I'm asking because I want to know.